Hey, hey. Let me make sure that I am not sideways like last time. So that gives, let's see what's going on here. I want to make sure that I am not sideways. Happy Thursday, everyone. Yeah, I'm not sideways. Yay, I'm not sideways. All right. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope everyone's having a fantastic week. Gabby here. As I promised you last week, I'm back to give you a simple, healthy recipe that you can make for your family. Hi, Lisette, that your family, um, they're going to enjoy. They're going to love you for it. Um, so for those that don't know me, I am Gabby Lopez. I am a health and fitness coach. I've been coaching for two and a half years or a little bit of um, uh, a little bit over that. I've helped hundreds of men and women uh, meet their goals, whether those were losing weight, whether those were, um, you know, toning up or gaining weight. Everyone has um, different goals, right? So I became, Matias is here. This is real life, guys. I am also a stay-at-home mom, a full-time stay-at-home mom who actually just finished working out and I'm having my recovery drink and I'm making dinner and decided that I'm going to make a healthy recipe for you guys as I make it for my family. Yes, papi. Okay. ¿Quiere, quiere, quiere decir hola? Venga, vamos a decir hola. Ay, ay, ay. He's heavy now. Diga hola. Hola. Diga, ¿cómo están? Bien. <laughs> so this is Matias. Yes, where's my pizza? Aha, uh -huh. Audrey, we'll have you over. I, I learned from you. So this is this is um, our attempt to at making a really, really delicious pizza. Where's pumpkin? Where's your AC? Okay, can I send you a little pumpkin? Okay, so Matias is going to show you. Hi, Christine. <laughs> yes, I can make that for you, girl. Mira, decirle hi. Dígale hi, Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Oh, he said it. Okay. So, vaya a jugar, vaya a jugar para que mami haga la pizza, ¿sí? El pumpkin. Okay, vaya a jugar con el pumpkin. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Eso, mi amor. All right, so, as I was saying to you guys, I became a coach two and a half years ago. And really, I just became a coach. Um, it was really just a, um, a, a natural transition because I wanted to get healthy for my family. I wanted to lose the post-baby weight. And because it was so simple for me to um, to basically do it, you know, from home without having to leave my son, Matias, who you just saw here, and I knew that I had to share it with everyone. Why not get healthy, get fit from home and be able to stay, you know, with my family without having to go look for parking, especially during the winter time where you have to go fight for a parking spot, wait for machines, I do it from my home. So I had to just scream it from the rooftops that you can do it from home too. And so, you know, two and a half years later, here I am sharing recipes with you guys. So I'm going to show you um, how we make our healthy pizza. I want to make sure that everyone here knows that eating healthy doesn't mean that you eat boring, that you eat bland. You know, I love this recipe for pizza, and I think you're gonna love it too. You can use um, a pita, a whole wheat pita, but we use um, the, and I have my assistant, my mom. Venga, ma. <laughs> my mom, Elida, <laughs> and she's learning how to, you know, well, she's been learning for the past two and a half years how to eat healthy. My mom has lost over 60 pounds, guys, from home, exercising, eating healthy, and really, that's all it takes. So this is our tortilla, right? Our um, healthy tortilla. And really, this is gonna count as one of your carbohydrates, all right? So we're gonna use some coconut oil because we want we want to make sure that it doesn't stick. So all you're gonna do is you're going to spray it just the top. Boom, that's it. And you're just gonna put it down so everyone can see. I'm gonna be showing you so you guys can see. Then the next time I show up here, maybe not the next time, next time, but I am going to show you how to make, this is homemade barbecue sauce. It's a little spicy, but we like spicy at home. So um, I'm going to show you how to make that. So you're going to take 
or maybe my mom can can help me out here <laughs> right this is why she's my assistant so um, we're gonna put two tablespoons of that um, on top of the uh, tortilla and while we're making that we actually had the oven uh, preheating at 350 350 degrees all right so it's super super simple as I said two um, two tablespoons of the barbecue sauce it's so simple to make it you don't have to buy it outside and the reason we don't want to buy these type of things outside is because you don't know what goes in it if you make it at home and really it takes like five minutes what's gonna end up happening yes I'm gonna show you what the pizza looks like um, all right so see this is what's happening here I'm gonna hold it so that's the barbecue sauce two tablespoons of it so what happens with it is that you know at least you know you know exactly what you're putting in that barbecue sauce as opposed to buying a bottled one where you have no idea what's inside so now we're going to put um, typically we put our peppers and they're already cut cut up and these are really just all colors peppers green and green um, and red and orange and yellow and and yeah so all of them so you cut them up so this way they're already ready and all you have to do is come in and make your pizza you know it's really important to prep your um, your food on a Sunday so that you're not scrambling and you're coming home hungry after work and you know you have to do homework with your kids and you have to feed them and you have to do all these other things right errands after work and then what ends up happening is that instead of making a healthy pizza you're gonna pick one up from the street so make sure that you're cutting up your veggies on a on a, a Sunday and if you run out you want to do that on Wednesday again same thing with your chicken you want to uh, make the chicken and we're gonna my mom made this chicken so I'm gonna ask her what she put in it and uh, we're gonna talk about that in a, in a minute so she okay. just put two tablespoons of the green peppers this is um our style so all right i'm gonna hold this so you guys can see all right you're seeing that and now we're going to put the chicken and we have it also um pre cut up um so basically we make this on a sunday if we run out we make it again we ran out so we had to make some today i mean today is thursday but you know some people might run out a little earlier that's fine uh, you um, make it whenever you need to all right so cuéntenos más qué le echa al pollo usted para 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 hacerlo so she boils it and then she shreds it okay es para el para hervirlo lo le pongo ajo sal um, pimienta pimienta con comino okay that's, yeah. and that's it so basically yeah. what she said was that she boils it and she puts um, garlic right she puts garlic in the water and then she puts uh, sea salt because that's all we have here as well as ground pepper and uh, cumin that's it that's, that's it. all that you um, that you put and so she's putting um, and for for my people who are following the um, 21 day fix it's really a the 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 red container but it's not the full thing it's just like half of it all right which is basically protein for my non 21 day users protein is important to build muscles and to burn muscle right so see how it's looking nice already can you guys see yeah all right so now we're going to put some mozzarella and we got this at whole foods and this is um it says without uh, so it's produced without added hormones so we always want to make you know smarter choices we want to look at the ingredients in our uh, foods that we're purchasing so that we make sure that nothing um, has added ingredients unnecessary ingredients chemicals if you can't pronounce it guys it means it's chemistry and many of us weren't good in chemistry anyway so leave it on the shelf make sure that your um, typically when you buy something you go to the back of of the ingredient uh, where the ingredients are and then you want to read the ingredients right and the idea is that if you don't recognize the ingredients and you put it back um, and typically I'll give you a good example so for peanut butter if you go to the shelves right <laughs> I was good in chemistry too, Audrey, <laughs> but the majority of us aren't. So, but 
um, if you go, so to give you an example, if you go to the store and you pick up uh, your your uh, peanut butter, right? Typically it has like all this stuff that you're like, what is even in my peanut butter? The only ingredient in your peanut butter should be peanuts. That's it. And it typically has all this other crap in there that we do not need. And our bodies don't know how to process it because it's chemicals. So you want to make sure that it is clean, all right? And then um, this is healthy fat, which is our, our cheese, our mozzarella cheese. And you see, I don't want to drop it, but you guys can see it, right? And so basically it's, it's about two, like one tablespoon really. And you kind of just um, put it on top of the chicken and that's it. And then once it's done, guys, you can garnish it with some cilantro. So I said earlier, 350 degrees for the oven and you're going to put it in there for 10 to 12 minutes and that's it. And then dinner serve. Isn't that freaking amazing? You come home, everything's already prepared, cut up, you know, already in your containers. You got to just throw the tortilla, right? Put a little bit of uh, coconut spray so that it doesn't stick. Remember that. And then you put all the ingredients on top of it, put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes, and voila, dinner is served. Now you've um, had a carbohydrate, you had some protein, you have some healthy fat, and you even have some veggies with the with the green peppers. I mean, how amazing is that? And and delicious and healthy. So, let me see. I see some comments here. Um, how do I look back? Ha. Audrey, you're good at making dessert. You make us dessert. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's ebony. You want to see the package of the cheese? So this is from, this is the home brand from Whole Foods. So this is what we get, all right? So ebony, this is um, the cheese that we get from Whole Foods. Um, hopefully you able to see that. Let me see. All right, I think those are all the questions. Guys, if you have any other questions, um, you know, drop them below. Ma, si quiere, póngalo. Um, so, son las 5.50, a las 6, ya está lista. Okay. Um, so, basically, you want to, if you have any questions, guys, you know, drop them below. Um, if you're shy and don't want to drop them below, feel free to uh, email me at coachgabbylopez at gmail.com. Coach Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y. Lopez, L-O-P-E-Z at gmail.com or you can always inbox me. That's easier too. Um, and I can definitely help you if you guys are interested in learning what it is that you should be eating on a daily basis. We can even talk about what it is that you're eating right now if you're struggling with losing weight, if you're struggling with maybe maintaining your weight that you've lost, all right? Um, the other thing I wanna do is if you are in the New York City area, my team and I are hosting a live group workout and it's going to be this Sunday at 12.30 p.m. And it is going to be at the Yonkers Riverfront Library. It is located on one Larkin Center. It's literally right across the street from the um, Yonkers tra train station. It is absolutely free. We have a ton of fun. We give prizes and we let you taste healthy, delicious treats and we talk about nutrition, we talk about you know exercising, and we sweat it out. Our program that we're going to be doing this Sunday is going to be about 25 to 26 minutes long. It is an, a, martial, a mixed martial arts inspired program, and you are going to love it. I actually posted a video yesterday with my sister uh, doing that exact workout that we will be working out too. So again, one Larkin Center, and it is um, the uh, the Riverfront Library 
in Yonkers, all right? And right across the street from, like I said, the Metro North train station. So if you don't drive, you could always take the Metro North. Uh, if you um, maybe are coming from somewhere else and the Metro North is not close, feel free to uh, inbox me and I will help you figure out directions as to um, you know how to get there. 1230 is when we open the doors for you guys to come and work out with us. We hold a fit club or a live group workout every single month guys we want to make sure that you we are bringing awareness to our community we want to you know end the trend of obesity and we need your help to do that you know we want to start with us because it starts here at home with our families teaching our children you know what the healthy um uh, behaviors are all right so if you have any questions as i said be sure to comment below if you like the recipe what i'll do later is because i you probably don't want uh, want to hear me talk for the next seven minutes which i can but i won't i'll spare you what i'll do is i'll put a picture um up of the of the um actual pizza once it's done all right and stay tuned i will continue to share more recipes i will be back with um teaching you how to make that delicious a barbecue sauce from home and all tons of other things if you have any requests anything that you want us to make uh, if I have a simple version of it I will be more than happy to make it and share it if you enjoy this video if you enjoy this recipe please tag a friend share it show me some love and make sure that other people are uh, making healthier choices all right have a wonderful night have a wonderful Thursday and enjoy the weekend because it's almost around the corner. Bye, guys. <laughs>